Okay, this question is the two blocks question. Uh, also on page 19 if you have the handout and you're looking at it. Let's see. So we got two blocks on a frictionless surface. Frictionless is kind of important to note down. Because then we don't take into account the frictional force. So let's see, what other info do we have? Two blocks remain in contact, okay, so they're touching each other. And they accelerate along the surface. So they are accelerating say this way because there's a force there and they ask us which statement is correct okay so first thing to know is when these two are in contact there's a contact force that appears we know that as the normal reaction force so this block x is going to push block y and block y is going to push block x or like resist being pushed so i push you you push me so these two are what we call the newton third law pair both forces are equal magnitude, opposite direction. Okay, so now whenever you see two bodies, you have to break it up into a free body diagram, which means that you draw block, block X by itself, free the body, just all the forces, and block Y, the one with the lighter mass, separately. Then we have, of course, the F. Okay, now how can we add to our diagram? What's pushing back? on block X it's a contact force from block Y so this is a normal reaction force or you can say the force on X by uh, block Y so it's like a small little force there how big is that force we have to look at the acceleration a bit so remember if acceleration of the whole system is a means this one and this one separately will have the same acceleration so this fellow has acceleration this fellow is also going to accelerate at the same rate. So let's look at this one first. For this block to accelerate in the first place, which force should be bigger? F or this normal reaction force? If he wants to accelerate that way. Okay, think about it. So you should have, uh, this force should be bigger. Lah. So you can say F is bigger than this one f on x by y and if you actually want to count calculate the the, the 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 acceleration you can do that later okay you can use f equals ma resultant force equals to m times a so how about this other block here let's take a look what's the forces acting on this fella excluding the vertical forces we just want to look at the horizontal ones firstly there is something going to push it Right? And that is our reaction force from uh, contact force from block X. So this one here is the force on Y by X. I think there's only one force, nothing else uh, pushing it from the other side. No friction, nothing. Okay, so that's it. Now this one also should have an acceleration. So yeah, resultant force is to the right. So you have an acceleration to the right. Now let's see. Note that these two a Newton third law pass so they have the same magnitude but different direction okay so these are the same this one equals to this one oh negative of this one so if we just now we said this main force is bigger than this so this should also be bigger than this other force right here because they're the same so the second conclusion you can draw is the force that you're pushing both blocks is also bigger than the force on y by x. So from here, you can look at the solutions, each statement, a, b, c, d, and see which one agrees with these two. Uh, you'll find that in the end, c is the best answer for that, if you look carefully. Because the c will say, the force that x exerts on y, so this one, is less than f. Yep, that's correct. So look at c. And C will be your answer.